You know you're an Animal Crossing fan when they announce a Nintendo Direct specific to Animal Crossing, and you don't even want to believe it. You're so used to the lack of information, the punishment of not knowing, that you'll have to believe it when you see it. But here we are, a month away from the release, finally able to say that we have some information about Animal Crossing New Horizons. For those who have amiibos and amiibo cards, you'll be able to scan them into the game. The villagers will go to a campground and you'll have the ability to ask them to stay as a permanent villager. Wonderful news to someone like me who just got a bunch of cards to form a perfect lineup. Iconic. Don't copy this. I'm the first. I'm, I mean, this is my perfect village. Another insane feature being added is the ability to scan QR codes from previous Animal Crossing games like New Leaf and Happy Home Designer to apply the patterns in-game in New Horizons. I can tell you I was on Tumblr back in the day looking at some of the custom work that people had done, and the idea that this game moving forward hasn't forgotten where it's come from is... <laughs> maybe it's more than people could even ask for. It's really going to allow for customization that makes it so no two towns or islands are alike. Speaking of customization, you'll initially get the option to choose a layout for your island that's at least close to what you want it to be. You'll even be able to go as far as to choose the hemisphere so that the seasons that your island experiences are typical of that hemisphere. Then, once you've done a good amount of living on your island, you'll have the ability to really go crazy as far as the layout is concerned. You'll be able to create paths as you've seen, but you'll even be able to do some extreme landscaping to decide where land should be, or even where it shouldn't. You can also place water. You can create waterfalls, stairs, bridges. This is your digital Zen Garden. As a longtime Animal Crossing fan, I can't pretend I'm not shocked by the graphical fidelity on display here. The graphics upgrades and the lighting allow for some of these scenes to come alive. It's exactly the type of leap that I would love to have seen in a Pokemon game this generation. But if I had to choose which game I preferred to have gotten more love, it'd be Animal Crossing. Quality of life improvements have been made to home decoration to literally make decorating as easy as pointing and tapping. There's even the ability to highlight and batch move certain things to just make it a little, little easier. And as with old Animal Crossings, extensions and remodeling are to be expected for a reasonable fee, of course. The Nookling store makes a return, so expect a daily rotation of new items, be they furniture, plants, or even crafting materials. The Able Sisters also return and offer a place for you to customize your character to really carve something unique. These people out here are posers. Don't let them bite your style. Don't let them. Over time, your island will play host to a wide variety of visitors and traveling merchants who will come offering the opportunity at items that you otherwise might not be able to acquire. The in-game challenges are referred to as the Nook Mileage Program. Completing these challenges will grant you Nook Miles. These can be used as a currency to pay off Nook for the getaway package or, eventually, to buy specific items that can only be granted with a bit of the miles. An addition I'm impressed with is the inclusion of what appears to be a theater mode, which seems to allow you to spawn in characters, choose what they're wearing, and create little scenes for pictures or maybe even videos. I'm excited to see the future of this mode. I'm also hoping I can make the backgrounds green and then just chroma key them wherever the hell I want. Poifect. You can invite friends to your island and even non-friends via a dodo code that is one-time use. There's a built-in anti-griefing system that keeps them from being able to harvest or build 
unless you make them your best friend. A wise safety measure, to be sure. Logging back into my Animal Crossing New Leaf Town after a while showed me how funny it was that I couldn't even have a dark skin color. It had a tanning system where I'd have to spend time in the sun. So naturally, if I didn't play, I'd just come back to the game looking a little Michael Jackson. Annie, are you okay? Could you tell us? I, here's my executive bathroom in the basement. Is this a flex? You tell me. With the attention to detail, love, and charm on display here, I'm guessing a lot more people are going to be playing Animal Crossing than we might expect. I easily see this game becoming the number one played Switch title as well as a game people slide into their daily rotation. By the time all the streamers get a hold of this, people that had never heard or cared of Animal Crossing will be jumping on it. But to those of you who've been about Animal Crossing for years, who've probably committed days or weeks to a world nobody may even see. Here's to playing this one together. Hopefully, I'll see you soon. This video is brought to you by my birthday tomorrow. <laughs> Who cares? Love you.